What's up again, everybody in YouTube land? Scott X1307 here. Uh, been a little bit. Been uh, working my ass off. I am uh, currently working part time, three days a week, at a restaurant, uh, doing prep cooking. And um, the rest of the time, me and an old friend of mine are trying to run our own business. Uh, start up a uh, like lawn maintenance um, haul away pressure washing business earlier in the year and I've been doing a little work here and there recently uh, I got a subcontracting position um, maintaining uh, foreclosed homes through a company and uh, it's a lot of work so far but um, apparently some of the houses that we we'll have to go out to will be um, you know, recently uh, lived in, and, and it's our job to haul away anything that remains of the people, uh, previous tenants left behind. Uh, so, a lot of opportunities for uh, a little bit of money making scrap, uh, making a little money uh, hauling scrap metal, and um, a few usable things, take the flea markets, things like that. Uh, one item I did find in the first house that we were assigned was uh, a neat Spider-Man tin. Um, I'm sure it held some kind of game or cards or something at one time, but it was empty. But you know, not in bad condition. Clean it up a little bit. And, uh, pretty cool, Spider-Man tin. So that's been keeping me real busy. Um, the whole weekend didn't go, get to go to flea market or uh, really do anything but work. Um, first house it gave us was a three-story house, um, full basement, and it was just trash. There was 80-something cubic yards of debris to be hauled away. You're talking like five trips to uh, uh, landfill or to the dump and three trips to the scrap yard. A lot of cleaning, a lot of yard work, uh, lawn maintenance, uh, you know, cutting the grass, weed eating, edging driveways, walkways, uh, trimming hedges, um, a lot of work, a lot of work. Hopefully it's going to be a good bit of money coming through, uh, which is greatly needed around here. Um, this weekend, I, I was able to get away on a Sunday and uh, make it to the flea market. And I also purchased a couple items uh, off of eBay, uh, a couple of buy it nows and uh, one uh, uh, picked up an item I've been looking for. This is really the main, the main issue that I was trying to, to get out of this um, uh, Villains Month from DC. And it's a sharp looking cover and it gives a little more explanation on the origin of the character which I thought was uh, pretty cool. Uh, one of my favorite villains of all time, created by the great Jack Kirby, is Dark Side number one. And actually, and I got it, would have got it for cover price. Someone bid the, uh, it was like a 60 seconds left in the auction and uh, I go to place my bid and before I can hit enter it pops up and someone else had just placed a bid so it accepted mine, it was only 425. But I picked up another uh, item from the same uh, vendor on eBay, uh, you know, just to combine a couple of books and make it a little better on the shipping. Uh, so I got a 2001 Space Odyssey number one. And it's in, you know, very fine condition. It's in good shape. And they were packaged pretty well, didn't come damaged, which I was glad. Um, so those two books from the same person on eBay it was like three dollars shipping for both of them so and I think this was four dollars so uh, it wasn't too bad and at the flea market uh, you know, I go to my first flea market and I don't know it was just Sunday and I'm getting there too early but um, you know the guy I usually go to with all the 25 cent books uh, wasn't there um, I, like I said I think I just got there too early but uh, had some more work to do in the afternoon, so I, I was trying to make a quick run. 
So I uh, walked around there for about 30 minutes, uh, hoping he'd show up, and uh, you know he still didn't. And this was like nine. I got there like 8:30. I walked around till nine. Um, went back by his uh, booth several times. Even checked outside to see if maybe he'd pulled up and um, was about to set up, but uh, never did see him. So about 9:30, I left there, headed home, stopped by the other flea market. My uh, guy does 50% uh, off, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of glad I stopped there. Um, nothing really major, uh, just some really neat stuff. Uh, he had some new things. Um, first off, I'll show this uh, from DC Comics. Uh, I believe this is a uh, Ditko creation. Uh, Stalker, number one. And it's sitting very fine, maybe low near mint, about a 9.0. Uh, definitely an 8.5 though. Uh, the pages are just a little off white. Uh, covers in good condition. Let me see. Um, he had it for uh, like six bucks, so I got it for three dollars. Uh, with that, I also picked up issue number two. Stalker and we had issue number three and number three is eh, in very good condition it's got a little bit of I don't know you call this I don't think it's quite it's not water damage but the, the bottom is kind of wavy it's kind of crimpled but uh, not bad and these were a dollar fifty a piece here so A little Ditko stuff. And, uh, he had a box, a short box. It was new. And it was a bunch of magazines, as you can see. You know, a bit bigger than the comic. These were, uh, like Marvel preview magazines. So I picked up some neat issues. Um, he also had some of the uh, Savage Sword, uh, Savage Tales. There was a Space 1999, which I came that close to picking up, but it would have put me over budget. Uh, I had $20 set aside. Uh, I spent $21. I went a dollar over. But um, this uh, Deadly Hands of Kung Fu, I had to pick this issue up. It's not in the best condition, but uh, it's Bruce Lee cover. Big Bruce Lee fan, so uh, you know, I had to grab that. Like I said, you can see here it's got a, a good rip. This was actually folded back and I, I thought it was a missing piece, but fortunately it's there. It's just torn. It is missing a little piece here, but uh, the rest of the face is still there. Um, you know, it's got some corner damage. Like I said, it's not in the best shape, but it's like a dollar fifty. First leaf cover. Digging these old uh Marvel magazines for some reason lately. Uh, um, I want to show next. Well, uh, in the same box, and again, it's not in the best condition, but uh, it's Marvel Preview number three, Blade the Vampire Slayer, which I thought was a neat cover. And it's got some damage here, and it actually goes down into the pages. Actually, looks like something was eating it. And if you can quite see here, it's like a hole. And there's, I, I hated seeing that, but uh, you know, it's still readable. The interior is still good. Great black and white art. Um, you know, off white pages. It's got some spine damage, but you know. Uh, and this one was actually, uh, yeah, it marked at six, so it was only three dollars. And it's an early blade appearance, so that's great. And there was also uh, Marvel Preview number 14, which is an issue with Star Lord. This is an early appearance. And uh, I haven't read this yet, but I believe this also ties into his origin as well. 
And this one's in a little bit better condition. He had it marked at fine condition, and yeah, it's, I'd say it's it's not in bad shape. A couple of creases on the spine, not too bad. Corners are a little soft, but not really. No bad creasing. A little crease here, but uh, you know, cover art still sharp. So I love these painted covers that they did on these. I also picked up another uh, issue. This is in a little bit better condition than the one I had before. And it's issue number four, which is the first appearance of Star Lord. And uh, yes, it marked in VG. And the major thing I see, it's got some spine creases, which I haven't found any of these magazines that don't. Um, the major thing if you can see in here is a little bit of staining. Which I hated to see, but overall, it's still in a little bit better condition than the other copy I have. The other copy is loose at the spine. Now, it's not detached, but it's really loose, and it's got uh, some more, uh, some bad creasing down in the corners and down at the bottom and all. And but uh, so pick this up. You had it marked for eight, so this was four. And then the final issue of the day. I uh, was real excited to see this until I saw the damage. I uh, still, still had to pick it up. Never see this issue around, uh, not in the comic shops, uh, nowhere around here anyway. Uh, it is issue number two, which is the origin of the Punisher and the first appearance of Dominic Fortune, I believe. But it has, you can see, the spine there is just eat up. Uh, it still holds together amazingly. And as long as I'm careful, uh, I can still open it and read the inside. Uh, the inside is, um, you know, pages are <clears throat> starting to yellow. A little bit, but I mean the rest of the cover, surprisingly, is in great shape. No bad creasing, color still good. It's just that spine kills it. And uh, you know it is in good in good condition for ten bucks. Um, you know I, I hesitated on it for a while, but only five bucks. You know half off. Uh, I still had to pick it up, even with the spine like that. I just you know, I never see this this issue around at all. So, yeah, unfortunately that was it this week. Um, not a huge haul. Um, Twenty bucks at the flea market and like twelve dollars off eBay, and that's really all I can spare. Um, it's a little bit of upfront cost with this new job. I have to replace switch covers and things like that. Uh, uh, light switch plates, uh, outlet plates, things like that if they're missing or broken. broken. Um, so it's not a whole lot of money to be poured in um, up front. Uh, they do reimburse you. Um, so Keeping my fingers crossed, see how this goes. Um, my first job is looking like we could make anywhere between $1,200 and $1,500 uh, for about six days of work. You know, I usually make that in about a month at the restaurant, so um, I'll be doing pretty good. So, uh, wish me luck. Hopefully this will turn out to be good, and uh, I can have a little more money to go spend at the flea market and uh, put up some more videos. But uh, until then, uh, appreciate everybody's likes, comments, and subscriptions. Um, I'm trying to keep up with uh, everybody's comments and uh, watching everybody's videos and leaving comments. Uh, I make sure to like everybody's videos uh, as soon as I click on them um, and I try to go back when I have time and do comments uh, so I'm trying to keep up with that so um, great until next time um, everybody take care and uh, we'll talk to you later peace out